Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to share a little app proof of concept that I've been working on using the DJI Mobile SDK. Now the idea is pretty simple in concept. It was to develop an app that will control the gimbal and take photos on interval so you basically have a 360 degree panorama that you can stitch together. Got back from the field, I wanna show you how it works and the results and ultimately get some of you beta testing this app. Right now we have about 50 users that have been flying with it and testing it and the results have been good so far. So as you can see the app's pretty simple. You have your FPV view, your location, some status information up here, and then different buttons to control your gimbal. And the main button is start. Once you're in the air at the altitude that you prefer, you click start and then the app takes care of the rest. Demonstrate real quick, I'll click start. And if we watch the gimbal, you'll see that it'll take photos every 45 degrees. Once it makes it all the way around to 360 degrees, it will pitch the gimbal down 30 degrees and then do another loop. So it's taking eight photos with each loop, four loops. So you basically have 32 photos that you can stitch together and create a pretty awesome panorama. And you can see once it makes it all the way around, It'll rotate back to the start, pitch down another 30 degrees, and the 32 photos right now take about two minutes to do, and I've gotten feedback from several users that say you don't actually need that much overlap. You could probably change that yaw angle to about 60 degrees, so we're ultimately only taking 24 photos. At that rate, you're probably in the air for a minute, a minute and a half, and we'll do some testing and see how that turns out. You can see it tells us the panorama is complete, about two minutes to do. So let's take a look at the results. This is the stitched result of the panorama over the bridge. Let me go full screen and we'll take a look. You can see that the resolution is quite good. And if you look up here, you'll see a little bit of black around the horizon. That's just something that we'll be working on to try to be able to get more of the horizon in the view. You can scroll down and see the bridge here. Now, we did notice, and this could be a bug that we'll try to get sorted out, there's a little bit of a gap in overlap right here. You can see that this black triangle comes down, so missing imagery there. But lots of panoramas have been done. I'll show you one that I took over the weekend from the Port Aransas Community Rec Center, and it's actually really cool because I was visiting the skate park and you can just see the clarity of that imagery from the Panorama app. And then lastly, here's one more from Iron Man in Colorado. One of our users sent this and we stitched it. Turned out really good. I'll put the link to all of these panoramas below so you can check them out. Here's a quick time lapse of the Inspire One and the Panorama app running. You can see the gimbal yawing around while the Inspire One does a good job of maintaining location and altitude. So that's the panorama proof of concept. The results so far have been great. We have people all over the world using it, which is pretty cool. So if you guys want a beta test, shoot me an email at the email address listed below. And Definitely look forward to your feedback. We'll get this submitted to the App Store and get it out there. But right now it only runs on iPad for the Inspire One. And I'm looking into being able to support the Phantom 3 as well as the Android tablet device. Just wanted to share that update. Hope you guys find it useful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.